So here's how I purify my water. I actually use Ghana water. If you stay around this lagoon or uh, it's like an enclave, uh, Boche, School Junction, Rajingano Cave, uh, those around the Rollins uh, house there about, you realize that the Ghana water quality you get sometimes do come a step it right? And when that happens, you, it, it's very difficult for you to even use it for anything at all, okay? Sometimes, some people do install only only this, uh, this, this blue, uh, this blue filter housing, but um, I actually designed this thing myself, so it's um, it's called a multimedia filtration system. Okay, so with this system, I can actually take my water directly, use it for cooking. So I've actually stopped uh, using bottled water or uh, sachet water to cook. So this has uh, this has actually reduced, I mean, uh, the cost of uh, sachet water that I purchase every every week or so. So if you are someone to who is currently facing issues like dirty water from Ghana water, okay, not from a borehole. If it's from a borehole, you need to test your water. You need to take a sample to the lab. Most of the time, if your water is dirty from a borehole, it might be high on or manganese, okay? So, but if it's I mean, coming from Ghana water, Ghana water is actually uh, already pre-treated, okay? So if your water is already pre-treated, probably the dirtiness or whatever came uh, came in during the course of transporting the water to your to your house, okay? And it's something probably a normal filtration system will be able to take out. Okay, so this is what I use um, at my hand and um, I build this thing myself. Let me turn the phone camera. So here's the filtration system. This line here, that's the uh, waste line, okay? You can see that it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not very professional, it's not very perfect, but it's, um, it, um, it's doing a perfect work for me, okay? So the line from my poly tank into the uh, multimedia system, then into the micron, into the micron filter. Normally, I, I would have loved to use two micron filters of um, maybe 0 .0 0 0.1 micron and 0 0.5 micron, followed by a UV sterilizer. As when I, I, uh, but one day I, 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 I would actually upgrade this system to something I can drink directly. But I'm currently using the system. I mean, the water from this system to cook because at least the water will be uh, will be boiled before. I mean any uh any use anyway i mean apart from apart from direct drinking so if 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 i want to drink the water directly from this i'll just add a uv sterilizer after this blue filter housing okay this is this system already has um a silica sand at the bottom activated carbon nest then anthracite nest i think i also placed um added zeolite or something like i can't remember Okay, so this is the system that I that I designed myself. Okay, I did <laughs> all these plumbing plumbing connections myself. Probably a plumber would have been able to do a much better uh, better uh, connection uh, than this. But I did all these plumbing connections myself. You can, I mean, you can see uh, this shoddy, uh, unprofessional connection. Okay, so this actually takes out the excess chlorine as um, residual chlorine from the water because not too much of chlorine is very very bad takes out residual chlorine from your water at the same time to take out, takes out lead okay is it lead or lead from your water uh, chloramine and also a vol volatile organic compounds from the water all these things are very very uh, dangerous to our health and uh, you know I mean uh, they are all cancer causing uh, chemicals or uh, elements okay then af after this one is done any um, minute or micro particles in left in the water will be trapped by this micron filter this one is um is having 0 0.5 micron then after this the water goes into my into my building okay uh i also have a different property where i actually installed um what is it called an ion remover yes maybe probably one of these days if i have the time i'll show you how to do that yourself too i did that myself as well the ion um ion remover also a reverse osmosis machine to desalinate my water. I also build all those things myself. At, at this current property to where I'm currently uh, residing, I would also be upgrading this system someday to a reverse osmosis so that I can drink directly. And why a reverse osmosis? Reverse osmosis actually is much safer, okay, even though it takes out excess uh, minerals from the water. So maybe probably after using reverse osmosis, then I can add back the lost minerals back into the water. But um, it's not something I have plans for for now. But I, I wish I wish to upgrade this system to reverse osmosis so that I can stop buying 
sachet and bottled water okay and i have kids who i mean who play around with my water all the time okay so um if you are looking at eradicating bottled water uh, sachet water you are you're looking at reducing the cost of I mean, how much is it anyway <laughs> okay if you, but if, if, if you are looking at reducing the cost of sachet water and things this is something you should actually consider getting for yourself it's not too expensive not too expensive i mean uh, if, 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 it's, if 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 you are someone who would like to do it yourself though you know i mean if you have to add the cost of the materials the cost of labor maybe a plumber or so to it the price may may shoot up and you know the way people do hard money to things here in ghana where if 50, 50 cities things your a technician or your uh, liberal worker man, i mean probably will give you double or triple of that amount so you can buy your things yourself and get a plumber to do the installation for you and i cannot i can actually show you get you i mean the list of things to buy if you are looking at buying these materials and installing yourself so see you in the next video bye